What's up everybody, sci Five Gaming here, along with my my main man Leo, the ace pilot. Hello. <laughs> We're gonna talk, this is a GBO2 update number 12, I believe. The Halloween, Halloween event is in full effect. As you can see behind me here, we have the new, uh, the prize for completing the eight Halloween missions, the Desert Gym. It's a yellow support type. We'll pull up the missions here in a second. Before we do that, we gotta do the all the normal stuff, go check out the new suit, check out the new banner. So here you go, there's the Halloween update. It does have a 25% increase to find the containers here in the game. Still two per day and whatnot. And then whenever this suit dropped last night on drop night, everybody was kind of like, what is this thing? A lot of people didn't have any idea what it was. I recognized it as something from 0083. I didn't quite know what it was though. But now since everything's in English, it's Pretty, pretty clear that it's a it's a draw C or we call it the Drac for short. The new resource satellite map you know, obviously has its own little picture there, but we should have kind of expected it to be a space suit because you know we got a new space map, and I think along with the you know when we got the Thunderbolt suits, they were pretty much dropped right away to show off that new space map that was you know not in GBO1, they didn't have any of those things in GBO1, so, you know, once it dropped, I was like, that makes sense, you know, of course we should have thought of, they were going to bring out a suit for the CQB, you know, type of space map, actually, let me hang around here so we can see the video of it, so it's got a, a Vulcan for its right hand, it's got a Sturmfaust for stunning, it has a ferocious knockdown attack with its melee weapon, on its left hand and a really cool custom uh, counter-attack animation and Leo's gonna talk a little bit more about that whenever we get further along. I'm gonna go check out the store, see what's in there. I'm gonna post up, I'm gonna edit in a, a picture of the stat list of the Drac and in a section in here and then uh, we'll talk more about that. The other suit that dropped along with with this, there's, you know, as you see, you know, like there's always like a background suit or something besides the the banner suit. Is a really cool Zaku 2 F2, and I've I've already like last night, you know, Leo and I stayed up late playing missions, trying to get through there. I've already ran into a couple of them. Uh, we ran into a couple of the of the desert type gyms actually. Uh, pretty cool, you know. The de the desert gym comes with the with the rail gun and has a little under barrel rocket launcher along with that weapon. But the Zaku 2 F2 has a lot going for it. I guess it is supposed to be like the pinnacle of performance, you know, kind of sort of for the Zaku 2 chassis. It has extra ramjets on its back to aid in extra mobility and and flight and thrust. Along with that, it comes with an anti-aircraft version of the Zaku 2 machine gun, or actually it's MMP-78 with the underbarrel grenade launcher. So it's MMP-78GN, just like the standard MMP-78 that we have right now for the Type S and the Dom Tropin and the uh, R2 HIMO. That weapon can also be used by the new F2. But the one that the F2 has fires anti-aircraft rounds, and I noticed when I saw the picture of it online that it had a slightly different shaped magazine, so that led me to believe that there was something special about that gun. Now, the rounds that come out of that gun, it, the magazine only has eight rounds in it, and it can stun you on two shots, and the, this, the, new, the F2 Zaku has a two-hit melee combo. So you can stun people with two hits from the, from the anti-aircraft gun, machine gun, and then he also has a Sturmfaust to stun with. And then on top of that, he's got the underbarrel grenade launcher that's on the anti-aircraft machine gun. So he's got a lot of options. He's got a, a lot of attack options in there. Good mobility. Uh, I'm really looking forward to trying to get that suit and get some action with that. I think it's going to be. I think it's going to be really a really good game changer for the Zaku the chassis on the battlefield compared to like the you know the other. Uh, Jimmy Kai's and stuff like that. So on to what's new in the stores. Got that level three double beam gun, level three sniper rifle for the Zaku one. Level four version of the Fetty Bazooka. Finally the level three for your Jimmy sniper, the Magella top cannon. 
and the MMP-80 at level 5. Kind of strange that the MMP-80 can only be used by a Zaku, a Zaku Cannon and a Zaku 2. But maybe there'll be more later on. Custom parts for two days only they were going to do in the recycle store. Let me pull that up. There's no real new clothing or anything else. Let's go to the recycle counter. Customization parts as you see right here. The quick loader level 2 for ballistic weapons and the auxiliary generator level 2 for energy weapons. Mainly uh, the snipers burning out the, you know, the, their sniper rifles. But it also works for double beam guns and, and the beam gun in, in general. Really cool to have it on there. Hyper Hammer level 1. The beam magnum with the super napalm launcher underneath level 2. I still really need that thing. Beam saber level 5 for the light armor jimmy. Little ninja jimmy. I'm gonna have to pick up one of these things today. Not sure. Heading up to the mobile suits there available. Thunderbolt, level one. It's in there today. This is this is the day after. This is 3 p.m. after the update came out yesterday. So this is pretty much everything for today for the 25th. Uh, where is my phone? There it is. Yeah, so other than that, the, Th the Thunderbolt is 190 tickets. Wow, that's heavy. All right, so let's pull up. I'm gonna pull up the missions here for you. I'm pretty much already done with almost all of them. As you can see, I'm rocking my jack-o'-lantern head. Really cool. Still really amazing that all this stuff is in English. So, you know, it's right on time for this Halloween event. So we don't have to, you know, decipher what the challenges were for this thing. So I got one more mission to do. All I have to do is get the uh, win, win 10 battles. We were getting beat up pretty bad last night, but everybody was going really hard. You know, it's supposed to be like a Halloween celebration and Leo and I were kind of talking about it like, uh, it's going to be pretty hard going. Everybody's trying to, you know, get kills and make sure they get the win and people were leaving matches, not wanting to lose rank. It, <laughs> it may be a happy Halloween celebration, but man, it was some, some tough fighting going on. As you can see here in the skill set for the Desert Jimmy, starts off at 250. This is the level one. He dies pretty good from the Zuda's <laughs> 135 anti-ship rifle. Got a couple kills on him last night with that thing. I think at level two, I was hitting them for over 30, I think 3,700 damage. Do you remember, Leo? If that's what I was saying, I think it was 3,700, something like that. You could most definitely just about three shot them. Yeah, it was it was one or two shots, maybe two shots in a Sturmfaust shot. It was, they went down pretty quick if I if I lined them up. But that railgun is pretty ferocious. It stuns you on one shot. So this is a, a definitely a support suit that I'm gonna like because I love being aggressive in the support suits. It's a little down on speed, obviously heavy weight. Um, I haven't compared its armor stats yet with you know say the Zaku cannons and those guys, but or anybody else that has a speed of 100. But the fact that he has the underbarrel missiles, they work like the the Desert Zaku's missiles. So you can stun people if you hit him with enough of those. He and then the railgun that he that he has on board, it stuns instantly. So you, you can stun him and then walk up to him and melee him. So for those of you who like to play the Jimmy Sniper with the missile launcher, kind of the same kind of the same you know stun and stun and hack as you play that support type. Really cool cat ears and cat tails, witch hat, jack-o'-lantern head. Lots of fun stuff going on here. Obviously they added new music. I was, was getting really tired of the other one personally myself, but I usually turn the music off anyway. Usually listen to the other stuff. Really neat decorations all over the bar. Decorations everywhere. They even changed uh, the, the suit that's inside the hangar over here. The Zaku 2 that was outside it is now the desert jimmy and now he's hanging out back here across from his brethren with the other uh, split split ballistic armor the striker gym so leo why don't you go ahead and talk to us a little bit about your experience in the draw sea all right, the draw C, my uh, my little stingray, I like to call it. Yeah, we've kind of this named suit. it the stingray, yeah, because it's got that barb on its left hand. You can just stick people, stick and move, right? Yeah, this suit is the pinnacle of hit and run. It has no health, it has no <laughs> resistance, straight melee, straight speed. So your number one strategy 
is either to flank or sit in the back and wait for an opportunity. If you have to, if people are trying to focus on you, like to shoot you down, you have all these amazing skills to evade. You have maneuver armor, force injector, high spec ambac, and a dodge roll if you have to, or the emergency evasion controller. <clears throat> so make use of all those to get around the enemy, have your teammates distract them if they are reliable enough, and use that glorious you know, downward, or I, I say downward, it's a yeah, toppling knockdown, melee Yeah, the knockdown attack. melee attack, right? And his knockdown, his down and melee. Yes. Yeah. Yes, because it is essentially a space easy 8 you know, charge. It can go omnidirectional. It travels extremely fast in comparison to the easy 8 Like, yeah, there's almost I, I no saw, up. I saw one get me when we were playing with those other two the other night. When they were on the opposite team, he literally started that attack below me. And I guess boost and pulled up, like hit L1 or something, because he attacked me from the bottom moving upwards. Even though the blade was like out in front of him, he literally like kind of like sliced me from the legs up with that attack. It, yeah. was, it was really weird. And the charge has a very far range. So if possible, you may even be able to nail multiple targets. Yeah, so and... you're right. It is, it is, so it plays a lot like the EZ-8 in space with his stab attack. Right. It's a very squishy space easy eight. <laughs> uh, you do have your Vulcans, uh, and they fire ridiculously fast, but the damage isn't adequate enough to just you know play it like a ranged suit. That is a cleanup uh, weapon. You know they're very low, and maybe a bit too far away for you to melee. You just shoot them down as fast as you can. The Sturm Faust, that's up to you how you would like to use it. I prefer to use it as a, a getaway option. Because I can already just maneuver around suits and, you know, tag them with the melee. If you're being chased, there's literally nothing you can do to get out of their line of fire because it's space. There's a lot of suits that can shoot while boosting. You just, you know, turn around, hit them with the Sturm Faust and boost away. You have 80 thruster speed. That is ridiculous. And, That's well, awesome. the space buff, so you have nigh infinite, you know, Right, boost. yeah, so your fuel is not going to run out anytime soon, like what, what I was seeing in the R2 Hymo. Like, it just, you can just boost forever in that thing uh, and never really run out of fuel going across the, the space map. So it really does and seem like that, that that suit was built for the map and the map for that suit, most particularly. Yes, I found myself often uh, making use of that enhanced radar it has. Because you mm -hmm. can stay just at a distance of everyone else, so they okay. can't see you on radar, and you right. just keep an eye on them. You can either go around and flank, or you know just hit them from the side, just coming in while they're distracted. And awesome. when people like come around corners, like those asteroids in the central uh, area of the map, right, just the freaking rib, nail rib, them rib. as they're coming around. They won't Got see it. it coming. Yeah, so you can get, and, ambush a lot, like with the pixie kind of thing, because you have so much range with that with that knockdown attack. You can very you can just, far range. Yeah, and then could you even like curve it around the asteroid if you like you know they're on the other side? Yes. If you can see their energy bar, you can just pull it, just pop the attack, and then turn left and kind of or whatever it is and go around and get them with it. That's pretty. Yeah, you can guide it dirty. as you go, like the easy. It, it's just it has a stronger turn. I I believe like you have more control where you're going. Right. You can go up, down, left. Yeah, like right, I was saying, that guy. Right. Like it, it seems like you could pretty much just go 360 with it. Like you know, obviously you're going to be flying forward and it's going to be thrusting forward, but. You can definitely change the angle of attack with it a, a little bit. So talking about its um, its its cost, it, it comes in. It's a two star suit, so you can you can pick up this suit from a, a bronze crate. Didn't you get yours out of a bronze crate, Leo? Yes, I did. Yeah, okay. I, I certainly did not expect that, but I am uh, blessed to have it anyways. <laughs> so it's a two star suit. Um, online, it's, it's, it says the drags. That's funny. The, these Google translations are just hilarious. And so, so level one through level three. Uh, space exclusive aircraft, of co uh, obviously, cost as 200, and then it just has, you know, like the uh, the little um, approximation mark after that. So I'm expecting, it, since this is pretty much like a space only grunt suit, I'm kind of expecting it, you know, to see further levels of it later on, maybe four, or maybe level five, because it there's a lot of room for expansion with w weapon systems like this. You know, it doesn't always have to just sit down here in the 200 in the 200 range. It, obviously, you know, we already have stuff like the standard Jimmy's, uh, the standard, you know, like the Zaku ones. Those things can become expert class suits when you when you level them up to level five and whatnot with things like high, you know, high performance balancer, 
stuff like that. And also the space uh, compatibility specification enables this, uh, all the, any suits that have that, it gives them perf high performance balancer in space. I just really wish my Zuda had the same thing. But yeah, so it's uh, level one through three is available right now. For the Zaku 2 uh, late type, it's, it's also a two star, also level one and two available right now, starting off at uh, 300 cost and going up from there. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a level four and five at least of that thing later on. For the lottery, the obviously the draw C is the targeted materials from November 25th through November 1st. Now, also talking about the Halloween missions, you do have to complete them by November 1st from, uh, from everything that we can see on here. Let's see, Leo, is there anything else you can think of that, that I didn't go over for the Halloween event? Uh, I think everything else is crystal. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, you just got to play, what, like 10 ranked matches and everything else you can kind of, besides getting killing the rivals or beating your rival, uh, you can pretty much knock out You'll in knock customs. You'll knock it out while you're doing customs. Yeah, in customs or something like that. So uh, good luck to you guys uh, that have to do it on multiple accounts. <laughs> uh, and I think I think that's pretty much it, guys. So from uh, me and, and Leo, thanks for checking it out, and we'll see you guys next time. Sayonara. Bye-bye.